The ping of the aluminum bat echoes across baseball diamonds, rivaling the crack of the wooden bat. The pros still use traditional wood, but outside the major leagues, the metal bat is a definite hit. Using it means it's a whole new ball game. Lightweight and durable, the metal bat has some definite points in its favor. They start with aircraft-grade aluminum rods. These rods are sliced into short chunks called blanks. They load the blanks one at a time into a lathe with a computerized drill. The drill tunnels through the center of the blank as it spins. Then the blank undergoes impact extrusion. With the force of a 300-ton weight, a shaping tool slams into the hole in the blank, stretching it to more than twice its length and giving it the basic taper of a baseball bat. Stretched bat blanks now tumble into a big perforated drum. They lower the drum into a tank full of soapy water. As it turns, water flows through its holes, washing away any oily residue on the blanks. And now for a serious heavy hitter. This forming tool delivers a 400-ton punch through the center of the bat blank. The aluminum stretches around the tool to the full length and shape of a baseball bat. A technician measures the bat to confirm that it's completely straight. If it's not, she applies a little hydraulic pressure to bend it into shape. Measuring and realigning the bat is critical because if it's even slightly crooked, it could throw the player off his or her game. Then the bat goes into another computerized lathe. As it spins, a blade lops off the end of it to cut the bat to size. Another tool threads the inside for attaching the end cap. They lock the bat in a holding device and, using a circular saw, trim the handle end. Now that the bat has been correctly sized, it's time for a vigorous sanding. This gets rid of any small defects and rusts up the surface so paint will stick to it. They use heavy-duty paint because baseball bats have to stand up to a lot of abuse. They load the bat into a silkscreen machine and apply the trademark information. Then it's over to the decal department. They dip the decals in a solution that activates the glue and then stick them onto the taper of the bat. These decals contain additional product. Then it's back under the paint gun for a clear coating of polyurethane. They press fit the plastic end cap to the hollow barrel. They slide an aluminum knob onto the handle end and place the assembly in an automated welding machine that fuses them together. Now for the gripping part. They wrap synthetic leather to provide a non-slip surface around the handle. They finish the edge with a little vinyl tape. From a solid little chunk of aluminum to a hollow metal baseball bat, it's been quite a journey, and now these bats are ready to show us what they're made of. I don't have a